Good morning. Step into the office. Welcome back to Pedro Dura Santiago. We getting back to the basics, what made this channel what it is today. Right along. Haven't done one I feel like in a while. A good one, a long one. Let's do one today. Got my first order. It is 10.05. I got the order at about 10.02. Just got out the house, Aldi, double batch. I think it's about 50 items. It's paying 38 bucks. I said all the Aldi's up the street. The drop-offs are real close. This is gonna be about 3.6 miles combined. Let's go. All right, so as y'all can see right here, look, that's I'm right on top of that Aldi. So yeah, this is a nice way to start the day. I don't mind the items, especially at Aldi. I actually don't even mind bagging it because it's like, you know, it is what it is. We gotta clean the mirror a little bit. I don't mind it. Aldi shouldn't be super packed at this time. Um, I'll, I'm definitely gonna be able to do this from start to finish, probably to 45 minutes to make 38 bucks. Decent way to start my day. I also wanna talk about one other thing today. Look, you guys are gonna see just how close this Aldi is to me, okay? But I wanna talk about one thing. How to, when to, we should be, all that, unassigning and or dropping orders, either on Uber or really any platform, DoorDash, Instacart, when to cancel, when not to. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tips, what I think about that, and you guys can talk about it in this conversation. Here, we're here. Listen. That took 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and grab our cart and get to shopping. All right, now at my Aldi, you gotta put a quarter in the little guy. Aldi does that everywhere. It's actually really smart. We could talk about that another day. 15 items only for one of these. So one of them I'm gonna put at the bottom, I'm gonna put A, at the top we're gonna put B. We're gonna keep it pushing. No need for two carts on this one. All right, we're gonna have to grab some of these bad boys. Produce, always at Aldi to grab me some produce. Really easy. I try. I take a look at what I'm grabbing first, and then I kind of start to kind of kind of know where I'm going to start. But usually, with Aldi, you're going to start off with the produce. Let's get to shopping. Now, with any produce, sometimes you're going to have organic strawberries versus regular. Make sure you're checking that. When you go to scan, sometimes with produce, as you scan, other times it does not. Just be careful. The strawberries you're grabbing, make sure they're the right ones. All right. Not all Aldi's, not all grocery stores are going to be the same setup. So you get to know your stores. Got B at the top, A at the bottom. Let's keep it going. All right, looking for a little downy action. April Fresh should be right there. April Fresh. I'll show you guys how we scan this. So let's grab one of these bad boys. Let's go into customer A. So we're gonna hit found item. You're gonna scan it. Boom. Customer A. First problem. They got no chicken breast. Not one chicken breast. I think there's maybe some organic. So I'm gonna see if they want that, but no okay. chicken. Life of an Instacart shopper. They don't want the organic, so this is gonna have my order go down by a dollar or two. I hate that. All right, we are done. 31 minutes, we gotta go ahead and get refund on, oh, another pep could be great. Cool, so we're gonna do a pep on that, refund on the tie, because we haven't heard, we'll be done. All right, there's the haul. Bye, Aldi's. See you. And we're off. Now, the bagging of the groceries actually took almost as long for me to shop it. Well, not really, but it took half the time. So total time to shop was 31 minutes, I think. The checking out process and bagging, I gotta get a little quicker on the bagging. I think I need to set up bags or I don't know. I, I gotta figure that out. It took me like 15 minutes to check out and bag. That's too long. What do y'all think? I feel like I should have shopped that and checked out and bag in 30 minutes. That's gonna be my goal next time. I'm gonna cut, I need to cut 10 to 15 minutes off of that process. All right, before we get too far along, listen, my vibes are high, welcome back. Appreciate y'all for being here. Now, how do you, when do you unassign orders, okay? For me, my max, so I try to wait is 15 minutes. If it's a really good one, I've waited longer a few times, but it does depend on time, a day, is it 2 p.m.? Is it 6 p.m.? Is it a Monday? Is it a Friday? I've had a good day, I've had a bad day. There's variables, but overall, we should have an amount we're willing to wait and or merchants we just don't go to and or reasons for unassigning that customers might do things. If they're being rude, they're being extra, you, you accept an order, they're like, where's my food? It's been an hour. I'm dropping that 100% of the time because that tells me there's no tip on there. It tells me this customer is probably gonna rate me bad. It tells me the drop-off's gonna be difficult. It tells me a lot of different things by their initial reaction. What do you guys do? How do you unassign? How do you drop? With Uber, I feel like I'm even more quick to unassign because they don't even, the cancellation rate, I don't even think it matters. With DoorDash, I think about it a little more, 
but I've never gone down below 80%. So as long as your completion doesn't fall below 80, you're good. With Instacart, I've canceled a couple batches because the mileage, I misread the mileage, maybe the items, things like that. What do you guys do? How do you guys cancel batches and why? Now, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of my advice on that. All right, so what's that old saying? Burn in a hand is worth more than two in the bush, right? I think that's true for a lot of things in life and whatever, business, whatever, right? Money. But sometimes with gig work, that might not be the case, right? You might have an $8 order, your McDonald's, whatever, Chipotle, who, who doesn't matter, right? Go on a couple miles, you get there a long wait. It's 6 p.m. on a Friday. It's 11.30 on a Monday, crunch time, right? And you're like, I don't, it's going to be a long wait. They're telling me it's going to be 15, 20 minutes. Is it worth to wait that eight minutes? Is it worth to wait that time for eight bucks? Or is it better to drop it knowing you might get a better one. It's a little bit of a gamble, but what do you guys do? How do you time it for you? How do you weigh that? I'd like to know in the comments down below. So how do you guys, do you guys trust your guy? How do you do it? I'd like to know. Cause I think a lot of times we're, we're, we're scared to unassign cause we feel like we're going to get penalized by the apps. We feel like we're losing out on money. We've already spent some time driving there, spent a little gas. Maybe we've waited and you're like, I don't know. I got this money. I want to see it through. But at what point, what time, and what day of the week do you say, hold up, I'm, I'm costing myself money by not unassigning this order. I've been guilty of it dozens of times, of waiting maybe too long, costing myself a little bit, but you never know. You never know, because you keep it, or you, you drop it, maybe you don't get an equally as good order. So then now you're making no money. And for me, when I accept an order, I already count that in my head, like, all right, I'm at 20 bucks a day, I'm on a $10 boom, now I'm at 30, and I'm already at 30. So I hate to be taking away ten dollars but i also don't like sitting around waiting i really don't i think it's a matter of opinion preference i think it's a matter i think there's variables there i don't think there's a right or wrong but it's fun to talk about i want you guys to share your opinions down below what do you guys do what have you seen that has not worked for you what have you seen that has worked for you and let's help some new drivers out on making some of these decisions all right enough about that now we're getting ready to drop off this second one we're actually going to be a little over an hour of total time worth this but it's 38 bucks so I'll take that on a Monday. I think most of us would do two shops, 38 bucks, an hour and eight minutes on a Monday. I think that's pretty decent. Um, you could do better, you could do worse with other apps. It, it is what it is. But when I see that valuation, of when I see that dollar amount, when I see the mileage, I don't mind doing a little bit of shopping. It's all good. What would you, would you guys have taken that? 38 bucks, two shopping pays, got to bag it, right? Two drop offs. Let me know in the comments if you take that. And we'll see what we get next after this. Listen, I'm all over the place. My vibes are, I didn't work a lot last week. My face is a little red. I got a little sunburn from Saturday. Listen, listen, listen. Appreciate y'all for being here. It's been a while since I did one of these, but I want to share two things because I don't, you know, not everybody watched the live yesterday. Go check it out from last night. Skip through the first six minutes because I had some muting uh, 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 mic issues. Anyways, Nugs is part of the gig conference as well as many other great content creators. So if you don't know about this gig conference, I need you to look it up. I need you to email me, mr.betonyou81 at gmail.com. It's going to be the event, the gig event of the year. And Nugs is going to be there, July 30th in St. Louis, Missouri. You're not going to want to miss it. RSVP your spot. It's a free event. Um, and also, I got a surprise for you guys in just a little minute. Um, you know, I got somebody driving through my town that wanted to meet up. I'm going to, I'll show you guys. You'll see them in a second, okay? I'm going to meet them up today. I, I love that the, the viewers, sub subscribers, supporters of this channel um, you know, want to meet me if they're coming through my town. I will always say yes to that. As long as it's somebody I feel cool and vibing with me, you know, phone calls. I had a phone call with a young man yesterday. Wanted to just chop it up about DoorDash and life and things and wanted some advice because he's new to it. I'm here for the community, right? Um, I mean that I believe that I, I love this community. I love what other people have done for me within it. So I'm always going to give back when I can. So I'll show you guys who we're going to meet up in a minute here, and then we'll get back to dashing. Get these groceries, baby. Now, who do we have with us here today? Slavic D. My man, Slavic D. He's uh, driving through St. Louis. Like I said, I had a surprise for you guys. That's a surprise. So we're going to stop in, have a little bit of lunch, have a little connection. We're going to talk, and uh, there you go. My man Slop. We got salads here too. All right, so we just had a little bit of lunch with my man Slavic. What up, Slavic? Say hi. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> had some sandwiches. I'm gonna do something fun with you guys. We've been talking 
all the stuff. I'm gonna turn this app on. I'm gonna see if we get a snarfs order as I'm sitting here. Let's see if it happens. What? So we just turned the app on. I can dash now anytime, right? Let's go ahead and hit dash now. What time is it? 12.30. This place is kind of busy. They got orders sitting up on the little thing right there. Let's see if we get one. Or it's, we're gonna get one, but from here or somewhere else. Ooh, air. We're unable to start your dash at this time. Uh-oh. All right, we're good. Let's see how long it takes. Look at the clock, 1228. So right away, look, it's 1029, but look at this. So I'm the, me and Slavic are the blue guy. It wants to take me out of my zone. Look at that, 10 miles for five bucks. Kobe, we ain't taking that. No way, Jose. Here you go, 575, 8.7. Five items. No, thank you. So Slavic's got his DoorDash on as well. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what we let's see what we get here. He's trying to log in. So Slavic and I are showing you guys in real time. You could dash anywhere in the USA. He's just changing his location. You're gonna see in a second his screen's gonna pop up, and he's gonna be dashing along with with me here. Let's see. There you go. He's active. He's on. <laughs> oh, look at that. Looking for orders. So, so Slavic's got the Para app. He's got Para. He's got the uh, driver utility helper. So he's got all the apps to help him uh, uh, filter out all the garbage. I have none of that. I just have this. <laughs> listen, y'all. Listen. This has been fantastic. Look at this. Knowledge, wisdom, common sense. This is his channel. Look at that. I'm not going to show his license plate. It's on both sides. Look. I absolutely love it. This is, when we talk about betting on yourself, this is what it looks like in real life. Go ahead. Show the back to You got to cover the plate? Look at that. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Slavic just gave me a huge idea. Nice Prius, by the way. Oh, here we go. Taco Bell, 625, 2.7. I'm good, I'm not gonna take that. It's with four items, I don't like that Taco Bell, but look at that car. So here's Slavic's setup. He's got a couple hot bags in like a big cooler kind of deal. He's got water back there. He's got uh, uh, cups or uh, well, cup holders. Stuff, but then there's another. Another big door to <laughs> So his setup is way more supreme than mine. Price per mile, so here's Para. 625. Gives the address. Address, apartment. Right 0.3 mile, that's a good order, right? Gives right there the point three miles. Yeah, I yeah. see that didn't hit my phone, hit his phone. And I got a red door first that he declined. Snor oh, that's the place we were at. That's the place we were just at. So they had lunch. I can decline it? Yeah. And so see I hit it automatically does automatically, it automatically. Yeah. So Slavic just got two orders on his phone. They did not hit mine. I got one red door that I declined, hit his phone, but it was auto decline because he had his, his parameters set up. Here we go. Look at this, 1250 for 11 miles. Now, that 11 miles is going in the wrong direction. If this was going south, I might actually take that, but it's, it's going in a direction I don't wanna be. If it was going in a direction of where I was gonna drive anyway, then I might take it, but weird. I, I, two orders he declined did not hit my phone, but that one did. So, so here we go. He, it hit his phone first. His acceptance rate's 9%. Mine's 15, he just declined it. And now I send it to me, 475. It's the same exact order, 0 0.8 miles. It's a 250 tip. I'm not going to take it, but his acceptance rate's lower, and it went to his phone first. It automatically opens up the screen. So, I'm going to decline this one here. Interesting. So once again, he got, a, he got this order, and then 10 seconds later, I got it. He declined it. Seven bucks, 3.9. Uh, oh, no, it's going south. This is, it's actually going south. I thought it was going north. So this high point is actually, we're at the high point. We're in a parking garage. Uh, what, what tip was it? Was it showing you? $4 or something? He's going to show. He's going to look uh, at par. We 520. Got 30, a 520 tip. Estimated. Seven bucks. 3.9 miles. It's going south. Should we take this, Slavic? Let's do it. Cup in the car. Let's do it. Let's go. So I'm going to do some dashing on my account. In Slavic's automobile, let's step into Slavic's office. <laughs> so I, this is the first time ever on this channel I'm dashing with somebody else, with Slavic D. We're gonna pick up this order, it's on my account. Um, yeah, why not? 
All right, we are off, leaving that garage. We were right, we're in the same building as this. So this is actually, we're gonna make a right, right here. And then the um, the high point's gonna be to our right. So if you want, you can actually park right up at the corner before that light. And I'll hop out and I'll grab it. And we'll get to, we'll get to delivering it. Dashing with, dashing with somebody else, this is interesting. All right, never been in a passenger seat as I dash. So let's go ahead and go inside here. So, what did we talk about earlier, guys? We talked about when to drop an order. I've been in there about five minutes. It's completely packed, as you just saw. I can't s sit here and take that order, so we're going to drop it. So you just hit question mark. You hit can't do the order right at the top. I just can't wait. You select the person's name. I'm just gonna say uh, order not ready. Don't waste time. Time is money. Drop it. All right, we're back in our car. Look at this order. 14 items of alcohol, no tip. You guys see that? That person sucks at life. So I found it very ironic and fitting that we actually tried to do a dash. It was a good order. It was like, yeah, let's do it together. We'll, you know, we'll film it. It'll be fun, right? And I get in there and it is just completely busy. Um, wait time in there is probably 20 minutes. I couldn't even get to where I could talk to somebody and ask a question. That's how busy they are. They're running around with their heads cut off. The writing's on the wall, automatic decline. I don't want seven bucks for 30 minutes of total work. Not worth it. All right, so we just picked up an $11 order. It's a three consecutive trip promotion, 18 bucks. Sushi, it was $11 for five miles. But there's a promo, which I'll show you guys in a moment if I can. Consecutive trips, 18 extra for three trips. Let's see what we get. Y'all know me, I keep all apps on. And Uber came through, so this is a good order on itself now. I gotta accept two more in a row to get the extra 18. So hopefully the next two that come are decent because if it's crazy mileage or I'm not gonna do it. I'm just, I can't. Cause it, it might send me to 10 bucks too. I'm not gonna do that. But you guys will see if we get two more good, decent Uber Eats ones, get an extra 18 bucks. Yep. This one? You got it. Cool. So I would still be in that high point waiting on a $7 order. Instead, I got this order right here, about to put it in the hot bag more money about the same miles no when to wait and no when to unassign that guy he got a flag baby look at him Woo! let's go drop this off all right right as we were dropping off that 11 dollars they sent another one on uber mahid place few miles uh it was, it was worth it so i said let's take it so this will be the second one one more to go we'll get an extra 18. Let's see what we get. Hello. Let's have a pickup for Chris on Uber. Okay, this one here. Thank you. Thank you. And there's two cups for the top of Okay, no problem. I got it. Thank you. All right, this Uber goes, so for the second time it gave me an order, right? As I was dropping this off. McDonald's, six bucks, two miles. McDonald's is right behind me from where I just dropped this one off. So that was a quick, that actually worked out great. Um, so I'll show you guys the final results. I'll show you what it looks like when that 18 bucks comes in. Let's just walk right across the street. We'll leave the car here. Pick up this Mickey D's. Mickey D's, baby. Let's go. So I'm not sure why they're adding an extra 18 for three consecutive, but I'll take it. It must be desperate for people to pick up these orders, man. Huh. Yeah, yeah. I'll, do, I'll be that guy today. We ain't making no money last week, but we're going to make some paper this week, baby. Yeah, no problem. This might be the worst I've ever seen. Look at that. Look how far away I am. Look at the dollar amount. Look at that. And look at that. Miserable. All right, we're a little more north than I like to be, but we're not far from where I usually sometimes am. But I haven't been in downtown in a while. So uh, let's drop this bad boy up. There's not a lot of people that dash up in this area. I think that's why the Uber Eats app wanted to shift me here to fill some of these couple of little orders. There's just not a lot of money up here, y'all. 
tips are low, there's just not a lot of positivity. So we're dropping off right here, this big building here. All right, order just dropped off. Uh, that hasn't updated yet, but I'll show y'all in a minute. All right, there it is, $18 consecutive trip. I'll take it, not too shabby. All right, it's 2.07, we accepted our first order at 1.04, okay, after having lunch with Slavic, right? So we just made 18, $43 in one hour. I'll take it, we've worked two hours today, we've made 43 plus 48. Say it's pretty good. So y'all know me, after we finish those three consecutive trips, I keep the DoorDash app on at all times. We got, a, I think, a five or, it was a 575.5.6 miles on DoorDash. So we went into a Crazy Bowls and Wraps, picked that bad boy up, and we still kept Uber Eats on. I keep apps on. Take the best order. You're out here to make money, right? That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, we can do 1025 nine items, 1.7 miles. Let's go. All right, we started the video with a shopping order. Let's end it with a DoorDash. Plus that uh, $18 consecutive trip goes till six o'clock. So I'm gonna do this and then do another three or so orders on Uber Eats. All right, let's go shopping. What are we getting here? Tomato basil wraps, meat fish, pole, pantry, produce. Yeah, we can fit in here. So I've been to this fresh time twice. Looking for a couple Welch's grapes. So the multi. Who else, bad boys? He didn't give him back to you? Oh, what? They're stacking? Uh, the DoorDash is out of their mind. In the middle of shopping, they're going to stack an order. Oh, fresh time, you fancy little bia. All right, I'm looking for those. Meyer Gourmet. You'd think they'd be over here, right? Crackers. Okay. You, see, you guys see them anywhere? These kind of places, they'll have crackers in 20 different aisles. Fancy stores, this ain't my kind of shop. People spending way too much for food and it tastes exactly the same as the rest of the stuff. I mean, it's similar to that, I would yeah, imagine. Yeah, I mean, this would be, it's like the store brand. Of that, of right? This, yeah. Okay. As you can see, the message is there. I've had to message on every item. Well, besides the grapes. <laughs> we had to make substitutions. Luckily for me, she was responsive and real cool about it, so we still got the order done, but we had to give her some options. In times of shopping, you gotta do that. All right, shout out to Victoria. She gets the customer award of the day. Super cool, just dropped it off to her. Super, super cool, super nice. Let's end the video with a little Kobe. Look at it, 275. You want your eight items from Arby's? You're not getting it from me. You're miserable. Hope you guys have a great night. Appreciate you guys watching. Consider hitting the thumbs up. Love each and every one of y'all. See you tomorrow.